How do you find the distance between two integers, like positive 6 and negative 3? And how are distance and difference related? In this lesson, you will learn to determine the distance between integers by examining absolute value and number lines. Let's review. What's an integer? Integers include positive and negative whole numbers as well as zero. Here is a set of integers from negative 3 to positive 3. And here are a few non-examples of integers. What's distance? Distance is a measure of how far apart two things are. Distance is always positive. Even if we're moving backwards, for example, driving a car in reverse, there is still a positive distance being traveled. Here are some more examples of distance on a Cartesian plane, a ruler, a map, and a number line. Let's review what's absolute value. Absolute value is a number's distance from zero. Here's a number line with positive 7 and negative 12 noted. Positive 7's absolute value is a distance of 7 away from 0, so that's a positive 7. Negative 12's absolute value is a distance of 12 units away from 0, so that is, again, a positive 12. Distance is always positive. One common mistake is using distance and subtraction as synonyms. For example, someone might say that a positive 6 minus a positive 9 equals a positive 3, when in fact their distance is a positive 3, but their difference is not. It's a negative 3. Or the distance between negative 5 and positive 4 is negative 9. Well, we know that distance is always positive, so it's not a negative 9. Let's take a look at some more examples on a number line. For example, find the distance between positive 5 and positive 14. We can graph these two positive numbers on a number line, and then we can count the space between them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have a distance between them of 9. 14 minus 5 is a positive 9, and 5 minus 14 is a negative 9. But if we took the absolute value of that difference, we would get the distance of a positive 9. Let's try an example with two negative numbers, negative 2 and negative 11. We can graph them both on the number line, and then we can see here that they are a distance of 9 apart. It doesn't matter whether I count from right to left or left to right. It's still a distance of 9. It would matter if I was finding the difference negative 2 minus negative 11 is a positive 9, but negative 11 minus a negative 2 is a negative 9. While the difference may be positive or negative, the distance between them is always positive. Notice that both of these have the same distance between them. Let's try a final example of a positive 6 and negative 3. If I want to find the distance between them, I can count up the spaces. Again, I get a positive 9. Notice that 6 minus a negative 3 is a positive 9, and negative 3 minus 6 is a negative 9. So their differences are not always positive, but the distance between them is. If we look at all of our examples, some that have numbers that are greater than 1 or greater than 0, some that are negative numbers, which are less than zero. And then this last example had one negative and one positive number. It doesn't matter where these numbers are on the number line. The distance is always going to be positive. And it happens that these problems were chosen because they all have a distance of nine. If we're looking at difference and distance, difference isn't always positive. But if we take the absolute value of the difference, we will have the distance between them. For example, 14 and 2. If we subtract, we get 12. 2 minus 14 is negative 12. So the difference can be positive or negative, but the distance between them is always positive. In this lesson, you learn to determine the distance between integers by examining absolute value and number lines.